it is part of the natural physics of water and other fluids to always find their level and remain flat. If disturbed in any way, motion ensues until the flat level is resumed. If dammed up, then released, the nature of all liquids is to quickly flood outwards, taking the easiest course towards finding its new level. If the Earth is an extended flat plane, then this fundamental physical property of fluids finding and remaining level is consistent with experience and common sense. If, however, the Earth is a giant sphere tilted on its vertical axis, spinning through never-ending space, then it follows that truly flat and consistently level surfaces do not exist here. There are rivers which flow east, west, north, and south. That is, rivers are flowing in all directions over the Earth's surface. Now if the Earth were a globe, some of these rivers would be flowing uphill, and others down. through space at the rate of a hundred miles in five seconds of time, the waters of seas and oceans could not, by any known law, be kept on its surface. Whenever experiments have been tried on the surface of standing water, the surface has always been found to be level. level. To drop the theory which supposes a curved surface to standing water is to acknowledge the facts. If the Earth were a globe, the surface of all standing water would be convex. This is an experimental proof that the Earth is not a globe. There are rivers which flow east, west, north, and south. Do not flow up.